Hello everyone, I'm excited to be here today welcoming you to Kitchen and Craft. <laughs> I'm in the kitchen where I am making a crack from that the client for this job just needed something unique and I felt whoops. A crack for that design will go. This is how I made this crack for that. And um, if you are ready to see how I made it today, I'm ready to show you how I made it for my first time subscribers. Thank you so very much for my returning subscriber. You are a dupe right now. So this is how I did it. This is my fondant. I'm still going to drop a video of how I made this fondant and, um, and all that. So... That is me showing you the golden yellow um, color that I used. I used it to decolor the white fondant. You know, I mix it properly and very well until everything has the yellow effect. Uh, thank you so very much for watching this video. You can do well to hit the subscribe button. I trust that you get valuable contacts, content. Rebo is a calamus from this video today. So that is me rolling out the font that you can see that the font that is no longer pure white. I'm giving it the yellowish look, creamish look. And that's me using my my skewer to bust all the bubbles that are presenting themselves they are showing their ugly head and me too i'm just busting their bubbles <laughs> all right guys i'm trying to give the fondant a rollout according to the measurement of my cake you understand so i'm trying to smoothen the face and roll it out and make sure it's not sticky guys you can do well to support your girl by clicking on the subscribe button it is so so easy i promise you i will not fall your hand i'll bring you content that are valuable and it will worth the time you spent watching my videos all right guys i lost the part of the video where i painted this rolled out with a gold color what i did was i mixed the gold in with um spirit edible spirit then i spray it on the fondant then i put it into the oven to bake this is where the the fondant is coming out from the oven and it's kind of hot you see it's stiff because it went into the oven all you just do is you know mix your um dust edible dust with edible spirit and spread it paint the fondant with it and get it into the oven it was in the oven for like um 10 to 15 minutes and this is where i brought it out so guys i'm sorry because one way or the other i mistakenly deleted that clip but i'm sure that if you follow that explanation you will get it just get it so after i allow it to cool off a bit this is me trying to roll out the baked fondant to roll out the big fondant so that the cracks will come out. If you can look closely, you will see the effect, the crack effect coming out like already. You see it, it's so simple to achieve. I never knew it was this simple to achieve until I gave it a try. You know, I had to put my muscles to, to roll out because I wanted to do something that is a bit of unique for my client that's me there trying to roll it out and the more i roll it out the more the crack surfaces i think you can see the crack how we are creating the crack guys that was just how i created the crack so i went ahead to trim out the edges that is my cake already crumb coated yes so I went ahead to trim out the edges according to the height and the round circumference, the circumference of the cake. So then the next thing is that I gently um, 
put it on my cake wrap it around on my cake i have a video of um doing the normal fondant cake covering do well guys to look at that video and then give it a thumbs up and you can also give this video a thumbs up if you have watched up until now and you are getting value for your time please guys support your girl like it drop your comments and also share feel free to share yes that is exactly how i i did it i put it on it towards the back and with my other hand i hold it with the other one i pull around guys make sure that the 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 edge of the phone that is touching the edge of the board there was a part here where i did not achieve that i had to loosen it back you see that's the part i'm talking about i had to loosen it and make sure it's touching the edge of the board and i'm using my other hand to smoothen it you can feel the 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 cracked effects you can see it's so beautiful it's so amazing guys it's so amazing this is just how i got the crack effect of this job exactly how i got it and that's me trying to close up the edges then with the help of a sharp object i'm just going to cut out the excess from this um job yes guys i will use my smooth now yes that's it to like close down the edges very well guys this is simply how i got it this is how I got it. This is how I got it. I hope you've been able to learn it in or two from here. Till I see you in my next video, keep being creative. Bye for now.